is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner, Evans, and Bo. We are in our warm-up. That's it. Now you felt them getting a little heavy or strong there, right? Yeah. As soon as you feel that, do the half halt by holding your breath. So you feel it come up into your up into your lower your upper back. Add your seat, hug with your legs, hold it with your hands for three seconds. Gather them up and then let them go again. Good. No, it's going to be, a, it's like a three second all together. So it's like taking your breath all the way back to where your shoulder blades come together. At the same time, you bring your seat forward, close your fingers, close your legs. But it's at every breath. Yes. Well, no, it's just the breaths where you're doing the half halt. Well, With, is that every fifth breath? Or? Well, it's like, tell me when you feel him disconnecting. Like right there, do you feel that? That's when you do it. That was a good question, when to do it. You do it whenever you feel him disconnect. Okay. So it could be any amount of steps. And then you let him flow and praise him. Good. Well, you might end up doing it every stride at first. Especially in the counter canter. That's all right. And you can feel he's really watching you because his ears are back watching you. He's like, what are you doing now, Mom? Good. Nice trot. Right there, he's starting to disconnect, but I know he's getting ready to canter. So this half halt, theoretically, through your breath and your leg and seat combined, should get him more accurate to where he'll pick up the canter, but it's not going to happen today. Maybe. Because we know some days he'll pick it up right away and some days he won't. This should get it where it's more consistent. Those of you who know Bo know he's had issues, came with issues, and we've slowly been working him through these issues. He was the 213. Uh, he went to the, they went to the Nationals where they placed fourth in the training level championships. And last year they were eighth place in their region for second level. So some days he's very cooperative, other days he doesn't like to play, but we're trying more and more. He's getting better and better. It's a work in progress. As you can see, when Susan used her stick, Bo barely feels it. Good. Okay, now see if you can do a half halt. Half halt. Half halt. That's it. Good, good. That's it, and then let him go. That's the tricky part, is feeling comfortable letting him go. And of course, him allowing this to happen. Because we've never asked him with so many half halts before. Because he's confirmed in second level now. We want to make sure that he is in the second, you know, where we want him to be, to go into the third level balance, to be able to be competitive at second level. Good, half halt. Half halt, good, good. Half halt, and let him go. Every half halt is followed by the flow. Good. Half halt and flow. Good. Half halt and flow. Good. Come across the short diagonal or whichever diagonal and change your lead. Simple change. Half halt and flow. That's right. Half halt and flow. That's it. You can feel he's just a little bit stuck in his flow, but that's where we expected. And what we're going to be able to improve with using the half halt like this. Good. Half halt and flow. Good. Half halt and flow. Right here. Half halt. Flow. Half halt. And flow. Good, you can feel it's going into every corner, coming out of every corner, and right in the middle before you do your transition. Half halt, flow. You can feel him disconnect a little. That's where you'll hold the rein a little longer. It's, it's a tough thing to do. Oh, he really likes this today. <laughs> I've had so many people say he looks like such an easy horse to ride, so this is the reality of Bo. Some days he is like this, and I know some of your horses are like this too. I don't consider this being bad. Like I said, he came to us with some issues that have been getting better all the time. Good. Okay, now you tell me when you need to...
to do a half halt. That's right, because you can feel he's kind of stuck on it a little bit, right? So put them together, close the door from the front, slow down the front end, get him to round up more. Shorten the middle of his body by six inches for your half halt. That's it. You'll get a little aggressive at first with your rein. That's it. And until you feel him respond, and then when you let go, he's going to feel a little different. That's right, shorten his step. Here's what we'll do. We'll do collected canter into like a regular canter, working canter. So think collected, so he goes up, up, up. Yep, do three steps collected, then do like six steps lengthening. Good, three steps collected. Using your half halt, that's it. That's all right, he responded. It wasn't what you wanted, but at least he responded. This is new for him to really, for us to focus so hard on his uh, half halts. Good, good. That's it. And then send him forward. Yep, and at first he's not going to know what to do with it. Now start doing large serpentines so you're changing your leads at every end. You don't have to change them in the middle, you're going to change them at the ends. Good. Think forward and even the downward. Good, good. Needs a half halt there. There. Good. There. That's it. There. Good, good. Send him forward and praise him. All right, now you tell me when you're going to do it again. Good. You can just say now if you want. Good, good. Now, see, you can feel it. Yes, good, Susan. Good. Yes. Yep, he's starting to get a little strung out right here, so package him up a little bit again, round him up. And then remember to let the flow. Good. Oh, good, Susan. He's carrying his counter canter better now. Half halt. Yes, good, good. Watch that his watch his nose. He's starting to twist it just a little bit. That was good. You're, you're feeling it. Good boy, Bo. He says, "Oh, that was hard work." Can you can you? What were you feeling in the canter? Well, if I could get him packaged up in the rhythm. Starting over again. That's right. That was good because you really, you really do feel when he's dropping you. That was a good boy. 